it was a shift in the narrative of the decentralized finance space where before hey let's kill all the banks and let's uh, rebuild this new system whereas now it's more like let's integrate together let's work together and try to create a solution that will grow the space and make all the systems that are already here more efficient So today, what we're going to be talking about is crypto conferences. You might have noticed that we've not been around for the last little bit. We've been away at conferences and you know, we're just going to talk about them, what's going on, what's happening, what were our kind of key takeaways to give you guys kind of an inside look that normally only people in the industry kind of get to see. So Juan is a fan favorite. He's one of our software devs at Easy Crypto. He's developing some really, really cool stuff that you guys are about to see. If you're part of our Facebook group, you might've gotten a little bit of a heads up already. He's the guy that actually is in the backend team that actually makes things work. Then he's also massively into crypto and he's got a pretty decent YouTube channel, which I'd recommend checking out about all things crypto. Thank you, Patrick, for having me in the show. And I am very interested to know a little bit more about uh, Token49. What is it? And uh, yeah, what were you doing there? So Token2049 is a big industry conference uh, for people that are in the crypto industry, specifically building and making products for it. It's hosted um, every year, but it kind of travels around the world. The next one's going to be in Dubai. This one was in Singapore, and I was lucky enough to go along on behalf of the EC. That sounds awesome. And uh, can you share with us some key takeaways? What are the uh, three key themes uh, of the conference? So Token 2049 was super, super interesting. <laughs> and yeah, definitely got a couple of really interesting takeaways. The market seems quite flat. We're kind of in the middle of just a bit of a trough at the moment. And I think it's this old adage that like you build during the bear market to get ready for the bull market, right? And Token 2049 really is like everyone personifying that. There was about 10,000 people there, if I recall correctly, and everyone's building really, really cool stuff. It gives me like vibes between like 2017, like just before the ICO boom, where everyone's just building and building and building, waiting for the market uptick and to be ready for that. So it's just, it's really exciting. It's just, it's all happening. And I kind of, yeah, haven't seen it yet. I heard you had some really, really interesting experiences at SmartCon 2023 what were they what was it yes uh, i've been at the smartcon 2023 and this is basically a conference uh, very new uh, that is every year in a different city this year was in uh, barcelona two days and basically it's where all the builders of the industry get together and showcase the new solutions and new innovations that are developing in the Web3 space. So what would, in your opinion, be your three main key takeaways? Yes, uh, I think uh, one of the key things that really surprised me in this conference is the presence of uh, big enterprise and banks trying to integrate with blockchain infrastructure. Uh, one of the presentations that really, really um, amazed me was the ANZ Bank trying to create and integrate with the SWIFT global system, uh, implementing a blockchain solution for uh, digital payments and asset tokenization uh, using blockchain technology. So it was kind of a, a, a shift in the narrative of DeFi, the decentralized finance space, where I was like before, hey, let's kill all the banks and let's uh, rebuild this new system, whereas now it's more like, let's integrate together, let's work together and try to create a solution that um, it will grow the space and, and make all the systems that are already here uh, uh, more efficient. So that was uh, a really big one that surprised me. And there was another one, and there was a lot, a lot of talks about how can blockchains interact and help uh, in, in the world where uh, AI is present and basically it's different solutions and on how blockchain can help uh, this new world where probably like 90% of the digital content that will be online will be generated by AI and how blockchains offer accountability and verifiability 
to basically attest that this content is really coming from humans and for a verifiable source of truth instead of just, you know, different content created by AI that we don't know exactly if it's true or not. So some of these uh, were really, really interesting. But that was actually something that we saw a lot of at Token 2049. And it was really, really interesting to kind of see that kind of mesh between the two. And first of all, there's a lot of hype around AI. That's the next thing a lot of resources have been chucked to that. But that actual overlap in terms of how do we use AI to make crypto simpler, to actually make it better for both. So instead of making a smart contract call or like needing to build a UI to do something, what happens if you just talk to an AI agent that kind of could build transactions for you, that could do stuff on your behalf? It could be decentralized or you could own it. So it's not some corporation, it's still self-custody. But instead of having to make a transaction, you could just like kind of tell wallets what to do and stuff like that. There was a lot of that stuff going along. And then the other one probably to mention is huge amounts of data analysis being driven by AI, which was really exciting. 